elsewhere, that future is already arriving. This is prehistoric Africa, in a region of what will be known today as Tendaguru, around the same time. Like North America, Africa is home to many weird and exotic life forms. The climate is not much different itself. It is a tropical paradise with many of the same type of vegetation that we would see in North America also thrive here. And just like North America, Africa is home to giants. Here, dinosaurs have evolved into many exotic forms, many of which are relatives to dinosaurs that are native to North America. It is also here that evolution has favored the strong and the biggest over the weak. This is Giraffa Titan, a large sauropod native to Africa and the largest dinosaur in the entire continent. These giants are relatives of their North American cousins the Brachiosaurs, and at over 80 feet long and nearly 50 feet high, they nearly tower the Brachiosaurs themselves. Just like their North American cousins, Giraffa Titans spend most of their day gorging on the tops of trees. However, the Giraffa Titan are not alone in this lost world. These are relatives of the Stegosaurs of North America, called Cantrosaurus. Measuring 15 feet long from nose to tail, Cantrosaurs are among the smallest of the Stegosaur family. Like their larger cousin, the Stegosaurus, Kentrosaurs have built-in defenses. A double row of small plates covers most of their back. However, this is where the similarity ends. Where the double row of plates end, a double row of large spikes cover the rest of the back and onto the tail. These spikes called thagomizers, can grow nearly two feet long. Cantrosaurs are so heavily armored that even their shoulder blades have spikes. But of course, wherever there are herbivores, there are also predators lurking nearby. And here in Tendaguru, there is no exception. Another relative thrives here. This is Allosaurus, but not the one you might expect. This is a similar species to the ones of North America, called Allosaurus tenagurensis. This species is much larger than the North American species, nearly over 12 meters long and weighing four tons. They are ferocious killers with sharp teeth and powerful arms and sharp claws to tear their prey to shreds. And just like the North American species, Allosaurus tenagorensis are pack hunters. This is what lies in store for future carnivores. As evolution continues to change the world, carnivores will become larger and more ferocious than ever before, gaining vast varieties of weapons. Here, in Tendaguru, the story is no different. This adult is on the hunt for Cantrosaurs. 
It goes for an attack, but is soon deterred by the Kentrosaur's defenses. Soon every Kentrosaur in the area is wary of the Allosaur's presence, and they too defend themselves. The Allosaur has lost the element of surprise, and the odds are now stacked against it. But no Allosaur will go down without a fight. However, the Allosaur has gotten too close to a herd of Giraffe Titan, as their sheer size wards the Predator off. Soon, the Allosaur breaks into a different formation, and goes for the attack. It pins the Kentrosaur down, and kills it instantly. And as soon as the hunt began, it's over in a matter of seconds. Now, the Allosaur is free to feast on its kill. Like their cousins, Allosaurus tenagorensis is a fierce hunter. But alone, it is no match for giants such as Giraffe Titan. In fact, the Allosaurs would rather leave these giants alone and not bother them at all. They know that animals at this size can easily ward them off. They play it the safe way and leave the giants in peace. The Jurassic is the time of giants. A time when dinosaurs became the true lords of the land. From North America to Tendaguru, the dinosaurs have and will continue to evolve into many weird and wonderful creatures as evolution takes hold. But a new age is about to begin in this world. The reign of the dinosaur has only just begun. Next time on Dinosauria, a new chapter begins in the Mesozoic. As new strategies in life unfold, a new cast appears, and new dangers emerge. when dinosaurs became the true lords of the land.